Yo, what's going on guys? Y5K here. Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I'm gonna review Real Madrid. I'm gonna show you the best formation, player instructions, and custom tactics to use with Real Madrid. As you can see here, I'm gonna use the 4-1-2-1-2-2 formation, which is one of the best formation on FIFA history. I think everyone know how good it is. Anyway, now let's start things up with the lineup. On goal, we have the 90-rated Courtois, and I think everyone know him and know how good he is in goal. Now moving on into the defense, starting off with the right back, we have the 84 rated Carvajal, he's a good right back, not bad at all. Right center back, we have Varane with his 83 base, he's gonna be one of the best center backs on FIFA 19. Left center back, of course everyone know him, 91 rated, the highest rated defender on FIFA 19, Sergio Ramos. Left back, we have the 5 star skiller Marcelo, he's gonna be one of the best left backs on FIFA 19, if he is not the best left back on FIFA 19. Now moving on into the center defending mid, we have Casimiro, he's a great CDM but his problem is base. But don't forget he have great defending and physical stats. Right center mid, we have the best player in Europe, 91 rated Luka Modric, I don't think I have to say anything about him. Left center mid, we have another great player who is Toni Kroos and on FIFA 19 he got himself a great base upgrade. He have a really good all-rounded stats. Now moving on to the center attacking mid, we have Isco. Isco from 86 rated to 89 rated and I think he deserves a really good upgrade for him. If you don't like Isco, you can use Asensio. Asensio have better base and shooting stats. Now moving on into the attack, right striker we have Karim Benzema, he is not one of the best strikers but he have a good shooting and dribbling stats. Left striker we have the main man for you Gareth Bale, 94 base with amazing shooting and dribbling stats. Anyway guys this is the best formation and lineup to use with Real Madrid. Now before going into the player instructions, if you know around here don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video that will be appreciated. Tell me on the comment below which team do you wanna see next. Now let's jump into the player instructions starting off with the defense, your right back and left back should be stay back while attacking. For me I like to play on the counter attack so that's why they should be stay back while attacking. It's a personal choice, if you like possession don't change anything with the defense. Right center back and left center back should be stay back while attacking always. Now moving on into the center defending mid who is Casimiro. Casimiro should be cut passing lines and stay back while attacking. Stay back while attacking is so important for Casimiro because he is not so fast. Now moving on into the right center mid who is Modric. With Modric you have to change one thing which is free room. Using free room Modric will help Isco and will help you on the attack so much. Now moving on to the left center mid Tony Cross, don't change anything with Tony Cross. He is not so fast, so don't change anything and he will attack and he will defend. Now moving on to the center attacking mid who is one of the most important players on this formation. What you have to change with Isco, stay forward, get into the box for cross and free room. Get into the box for cross will help you a lot with player like Isco because Isco have great finishing shot power and long shot. Now moving on to the right striker we have Benzema, what you have to do with Benzema is false 9. False 9 will help you and will make a lot of spaces for Gareth Bale. Now left striker Gareth Bale, he will be the main man for you and he will score a lot of goals. What you have to change with Gareth Bale is get in behind. Anyway guys this is the best player instructions to use with Real Madrid, now let's jump into the tactics. Starting off with defense, defensive style should be balanced but if you are a player who love to have a lot of pressure you can go with pressure on heavy touch but using balanced you will have pressure as well. Which should be like 6 or 7 because you don't have a right wing or a left wing on this formation. Depth should be like 7 or 8 because you have your right back, left back, CDM staying at the back. Yes, this is what you have to do with the defense tactics and I really think it's a great tactics for the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Now moving on into offense, offensive style should be fast build up. And let me tell you why it should be fast build up, you have 2 center mids, 2 strikers and a center attacking mid, that means you will find someone next to you always. Now width should not be high because again you don't have wings on this formation, 6 or 5 will be good. Now players in the box should be high, let me tell you why, you have your right back, left back, CDM staying at the back, so that's why it will not cost you any problem. So yes, 8 for players in the box will be good. Corners and free kicks should be 3 because at least you should have 2 players at the back. Anyway guys, this is the best tactics to use with Real Madrid with this formation and player instructions. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and tell me on the comment below which team do you wanna see next. 
I will see you all in the next video. Peace.